25,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys, thank you so much. It means a lot. Right now it's 25.1 because it took some time to, <laughs> to, to record this video. I had a lot of videos to make and to record. So uh, yeah, I actually hit 25,000 a couple of, not one week ago, but anyway, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. It's my first 25,000 subscribers. Uh, I mean, on YouTube, it means a lot. It means a lot. I have 200,000 on TikTok right now and I have 20,000 on Instagram, but YouTube, I think YouTube is the real deal. I think YouTube is always and will always be the main channel because on YouTube, there are no masks. There are no filters. You are just here talking to the camera and people so watch you for who you are and you cannot deny it, you cannot avoid it. So I think it's the real deal to create a real connection with the people that actually wants to follow you. So guys, I want for today to react to the first video that I did on, the, on this YouTube channel called Let Me Introduce Myself. First of all, yes, I have 25,000 subscribers, but most of you subscribed for a different reason because I changed so many times the focus and the topics of this YouTube channel, talking about fitness in the beginning, then talking about uh, self-development, then beauty care, then fragrances, then I made reactions. So you are subscribed for many things, but I think this is the cool thing about the channel, that it has not a niche. I hate, not, not I hate, but I would hate myself for limiting myself on having a niche. And I struggled for two years, right now it's two years, even more, that I create videos on YouTube. Uh, I struggle to find out or oh, what should I do, English or Italian videos. Uh, should I talk about fragrances or uh, fitness? What should I talk about? In the end, I say, you know what? I talk whatever I want. <laughs> I don't care. I speak both languages because uh, it's what I love to do. I speak both languages in my daily life. It's who I am because uh, I speak in English for uh, my international uh, goals and people that follow me. And I speak Italian for people around me and for more discoverability here on in my country. So, and even it's a, it's a personal brand channel. It's all about me. So people follow me for who I am, I hope so, and not because I talk about one single topic. If you want to know about that topic, you would just go online and search it on Google but you follow me because you want my opinion, you want my tips, you want to listen it from me. So this is what means a lot to me. So it doesn't matter what I talk about, I just want to uh, talk about the things that I care right now in this moment. Right now it would be self-development, tomorrow would be, I don't know. So yes, let's go and start having the reaction. Let me, mm, okay, put it here so that you can see it. Record. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I remember this video. Oh. I started without a t-shirt. Many people asked me why. I started without a t-shirt. I don't know. Just because I had a good body? <laughs> just because I wanted to maybe talk about fitness? Maybe I thought that the main, the main purpose of my channel, oh, let me put it here, would be maybe fitness. So that's why I did it. And I had my phone here in front of the window with like all the boxes and my chair under it to keep it on this level so that I can see myself. And I had no idea why, but I started talking in English. Not decided. It was just, I recorded and I started talking in English. I don't know why. Maybe because my, I, I've always just watched English YouTube videos, just a few Italian videos. I love the community of uh, English YouTubers, so maybe that's why. Oh, that's cringe <laughs> without a t-shirt. I had a good physique though. What's up guys? This is Marco. This is my first YouTube video, I guess. And I wanna a little bit introduce myself before I start my YouTube journey with music so high that I cannot even hear my voice and the microphone that I ordered for five bucks <laughs> from Amazon. Uh, short, mid short hair, blonde hair. Oh my God, what happened? With all my things on the bed, what happens? So, 
First thing, and I was so shy. Oh my god. First, I'm a 21 years old guy from Italy. 21. I'm a student here in the University of Verona. And 24 I'm, now, guys. I study communication science and foreign languages. And I've been practicing professional swimming for 12 years. I quit at Why did I do it shirtless? <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Why? Guys, in the beginning, I posted all things shirtless and I gained a lot of followers and a lot of views and a lot of attention even on other social media. But then I discovered that putting out that kind of content receives a certain kind of attention and a certain kind of people that follow me. So I immediately stopped. And once I started making more formal videos, but just being myself, but more formal, I noticed many positive changes in people, in the people that followed me and also in the brands contacting me. I noticed many different things. Now it's more like a job, more like a real thing. Before it was sort of more of a trashy thing. Yeah, I was 18 years old when I left school and right now I work as a pizza delivery guy and as a model here. Pizza delivery in guy, that's true. Different agencies in Italy. So, I want to tell you a little bit about my story. I'm tell you Sorry a little bit if you don't understand everything that I'm saying here in English. That's because I'm Italian and I'm sorry if I don't understand. Oh my god, what? Where's the energy, boy? Guys, I was so scared to put this online, but I decided just to put it online. And I was afraid, this is for all of you that didn't start a YouTube channel and didn't find the motivation. I didn't want to put it online because I, afra I was afraid of all the reactions of my friends and family. Guys, everyone complimented on me, even on this very bad video, because it's very bad. Everyone complimented on me for the courage and for the... Uh, yes, I don't know, they just complimented. So <laughs> guys, just do it, just do it. Put your content online, document, start documenting your life. I want to document my life, my progress towards success. Do it, if you want. Here in Italy, don't speak so much. I also received 6,000 views. So I'm gonna try, I hope I'm getting better and better. I also, sorry, this is the last time I interrupt. I also received a lot of views like right away, thousands of views right away. I thought nobody would watch it. After video, so everything started when I woke up one day one year ago, at least, uh, I was in a very bad situation, so I woke up one day and I decided that my life had changed completely. So I started first waking up earlier. I started reading a lot of books. I started avoiding toxic people from my life. Oh my god, it looks like I'm dying. New, ones, new people that care about me. And I wanted to step up my modeling career. But I had so really, I, I actually had like, I made, I always made my eyebrows thinner uh, in that period, I don't know why. And also my face is different, everything's, everything's different. I started making a lot of pictures and I joined a modeling competition. Please keep Italy, going! Which is Mister Italia. And because of that, it went pretty good. Because of that, I they asked me to go to Mr. Model International in Miami. Oh, I already so went, I went there. there. I met a lot of people. Oh, wow. a lot of guys from. I started country, a YouTube channel world. after Miami. I wow. I learned a lot of motivational things. music in the background. And when I came back here in Italy, everybody talked about me. Newspapers, journals, true. Uh, journalists want, wanted to talk with me, interview me. I don't know why, guys. Such a good period. That's just it. <laughs> so that was the period. It was so the best period. I started sharing. I felt my so famous. I felt so cool. From Instagram, Marco Delia 97. People recognize me in the streets, guys. In Facebook that and all social medias. I just didn't want to start a YouTube, cha a YouTube channel, but after that, everybody was asking me how do I train, how do I work out, how do I take care of my face, of my hair and all this kind of stuff, I decided to run a blog, to start a blog, leonfire.com. Oh my god, the blog. So that, I cancelled the blog <laughs> this year. After two years or even more, three years of having leonfire.com, I learned so much about blogging, but it's just not for me. Too much time, uh, it took me hours to make a blog, blog and every time it had problems, every time the WordPress blog had problems to fix, so it's not just for me. I loved blogging and I learned a lot and it was a good experience. But now, I mean, 
way too much. Like when I wanted to make a YouTube video, I wanted to first write it down, all the ideas, so I had the script version for the, for the YouTube video and also the written version for the blog. But it took way too much time. I started then instead the Marco Delia podcast, which actually is going pretty good and it's much better because I just take the, uh, the audio version of the videos and just post it on the podcast. I spent a lot of time making it and building it and that started going great. I kept watching myself like this in the in the camera. I said, oh, am I, do I look good? Are my hair good? Is my hair good? Is it look good? <laughs> but I wanted to step up my game, so here I am in YouTube. On and YouTube. YouTube. And this will get me to my goal. My big dream goal is to become financially free, of course, to make proud of my parents, to stop working as a pizza delivery guy, and to really become successful. Man, I was so angry to work in that, uh, in that job. I hated working as a pizza delivery guy, but I needed money. I want to use my modeling career to, to, go, to, to go abroad, so maybe acting in Los Angeles, and I want to pay all of this by working hard through social media. Man, I worked hard. <laughs> I worked hard. <laughs> During these past years, man, I worked so hard. I worked my ass off. I went to LA. I did all the things that I wanted to do. I went to Mr. War Italy. To Mr. War, sorry. I went to Mr. Uh, Italy. Here, I won the competition of Mr. Italy. And after a couple of years right now, I was the judge of the Mr. War Italy competition. I did acting classes, singing classes, I'm doing mixed martial arts, I'm doing so many things. It changed a lot. Social media, like TikTok, got me 200,000 followers. So much growth. YouTube, my blog, affiliate marketing. Dance and singing, speech training. So this is my journey. Investments, I hope finance. I'm gonna, I hope I'm gonna get to Los Angeles to start acting, to start modeling in a more professional way and to to quit this stupid job <laughs> <laughs> to quit this stupid job and i actually was fired <laughs> from that job i actually was fired yes because i was very bad i didn't like it i just wanted to go home and keep going with my growth reading and doing my stuff i just didn't want to 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 go there so I got fired because I was very late every day. I was late. I lost pizzas. I, I ate pizzas, like hiding myself. It was very bad. All the jobs, guys, all the jobs that I th that I did in my past, I I, I always managed to uh, not be liked. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to work for myself and work by myself. To really make proud my and parents. So create something just by myself. Next videos. I'm going to teach you how do I start it. My modeling career, how do I take care of myself? Oh, my English, what happens? Do I take? I hope my English got better <laughs> during this year, I hope so. Because here, the English is not not so good. What exercises do I do? The books that I read to become successful and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna teach you everything that I know. So that also, my, my bedroom, it looks so messy, man. During this 2020, my spiritual path, the yoga and everything got me much further. Should I cut my hair like this again? You don't have to research them by yourself, but I want that to be also like a journey that we were gonna do together. Oh, so cute. I also changed the camera a lot. The, cam the new camera uh, with the, in the money that I made from YouTube. I invested it all in the camera that you see and the mic which I hope increase the quality. I, I made YouTube videos with my iPhone for the first one year and a half. So that's it. This is me. I know that this video won't get any views. <laughs> I know that bit. nobody's gonna watch it and everybody that's gonna watch it doesn't care about me oh, my at teeth. all, but yeah. My teeth had to be fixed. Everybody yeah. has to start from something. So this is my son. So that's it for today. See you soon, guys. Everybody has to start from something, and this is my something. Whoa! 
Whoa, <laughs> I got a little <laughs> emotional here. It looks like a, um, a younger brother. <laughs> it's very cool, guys. I really recommend you to start making videos online so that you can go uh, and watch your past videos because it's insane. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the subscribers. Thank you so much for 25,000. I know it's not a lot. I know I, I'm i still in the process. I did a lot and I changed a lot and I grew a lot uh, from this to this. So many inner things and outer things changed. I'm hustling so much and working hard a lot. This pandemic didn't help in some way in the career of acting, modeling and show business, but it helped so much inside here for the growth. I did a lot of things that are like, that are so uh, priceless, that are so priceless. So that's it guys. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. If you have any curiosity or anything, I'm going to just answer. And guys, again, thank you. See you in the next videos. Peace. And man, besides all the changes, the skin, the teeth, the hair, all the things that I changed and fixed on my body, I grew so much. And but I miss, like, I also changed all my interests, changing and shifting slowly from trashy things and learning a lot about uh, that world that is the show business the modeling and everything i got disappointed and changed and went more formal went more professional and business oriented wanted to make money and grow in right now had different uh different interests but i still have that energy of wanting to become someone i still want to work towards those goals that he mentioned the marco from two years ago three years ago and I miss that energy of show business. I love that field right now. I, I think that uh, I grew into it. So right now I know what to avoid and where to go. So I think that slowly when the pandemic ends and everything ends, I will keep going towards also his goals again. Uh, it will be a mixture between this Marco and that Marco again with all the growth and all the experience. Yeah.